Anyone who works from home full time knows that a home office can blur the line between work and home life. It can often be difficult to switch out of a home mindset into a deep work mindset. One great way that people within the Apple ecosystem can do this is through utilizing the focus feature. Hi, I'm Adam from Messenger Bag Media, and I, like many of you, work from home. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how I set up my devices using Apple's focus feature to both increase my productivity during the work hours and to be present during my personal time. Granted, this video is specifically targeted towards professionals who work with Apple devices as I work within that ecosystem. However, if you'd like to see a video with universal applications that can achieve the same result, please let us know in the comments below. What is Apple's focus feature? Focus is a feature introduced by Apple in iOS 15 intended to reduce distractions based on a specific activity. Focus allows you to customize your notifications, lock screen, homepage, and more, and can be synced across all your Apple devices. To get the most out of Apple's focus feature, spend time considering what activities through your day would benefit from focus. For me, that includes a work focus, a fitness focus, a personal focus, and a sleep focus. Before I begin setting up my focus, I want to create a home page tailored to each of these activities. For example, my work pages display my calendar, my tasks, and have easy access to the different communication tools that we use at Messenger Bag Media. My fitness homepage, on the other hand, shows me my fitness data and gives me easy access to the health app, music, and podcasts. My personal homepage is tailored to my favorite entertainment apps and my personal to-do lists. Finally, my sleep homepage gives me quick insight into my screen time that day, my sleep habits, and the battery levels of my different devices and my fitness progress for that day. This is how I've set up my home screens, but feel free to set yours up the way that best fits your needs. Now that I have these different pages organized, I'm ready to set up my focus. To set up a new focus, open your settings app and navigate to the focus tab. A do not disturb focus is set by default and silences all notifications. This is fully customizable, but I personally prefer to keep this as is and create additional custom focus options. To create a new focus, tap the plus icon in the top right corner. You'll see some recommended focus options such as driving, fitness, gaming, mindfulness, personal, reading, sleep, and work. Luckily, all of my focus needs are included within these options. However, if you have a focus need beyond these recommendations, you can also create a custom focus. Let's begin by creating a work focus. As you can see, aside from the icon and the title, the focus is generally a blank slate and is totally customizable to your needs. If you click the edit button under the work focus name, you'll see some appearance options. Since this is an activity specific focus, you cannot edit the name. However, it does allow you to edit the icon and color assigned to this focus. In my case, I'll make this messenger bag media themed. Below the icon and name, you'll see notification options. These options allow you to choose people and apps to either silence or allow notifications from. If you click choose people, you'll be able to add different contacts and decide whether they're specifically allowed or silenced. Once you've selected these contacts, click next in the top right corner to choose which calls to allow. In this case, I'll select everybody in the case that I receive a client call from an unknown number. But again, customize this to your preferences. If you click choose apps, you'll see some apps that work focus suggest you might want to allow notifications from. Similarly, if you click silence notifications from, you'll see suggested apps to be silenced. This is entirely customizable, so I'll only allow notifications from apps that I use during my work hours. Below your allowed or silenced people in apps, you'll see an options tab. This tab will give you some further notification customization to show on the lock screen, hide notification badges, silence notifications, and dim the lock screen. Focus also allows you to customize your lock screen, home screen, and watch face to help limit distractions. If you select the lock screen, you'll see the options to create a new lock screen or choose from your existing lock screens. I don't have any existing lock screens, so I'll create a new one. This allows you to customize your wallpaper, fonts, and widgets to your activity needs. If you select the home screen, you'll see the option to create a new home page or select an existing one. Since I've set up my pages in advance, I just find it easier to organize that way, I can scroll down, select my work page, and click done. You'll also see an option to choose a custom watch face, which you can select and customize in your watch app. 
Focus gives you the ability to set a schedule and have your focus turn on automatically. If you don't have a specific schedule you wish to use your focus on, you can enable smart activation, which automatically turns on your focus based on your daily patterns, such as location and apps that you use. I will opt to set a custom schedule for my focus. If you click add schedule, you'll see an option to base your focus on set times when at certain locations or while using specific apps. I'll set my work focus to a time schedule that will turn it on from Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Finally, you'll see an option for focus filters. Focus filters customize how your apps and devices behave when a certain focus is turned on. If you click add filter, you'll see different app and system filter options. This allows you to filter messages, calendars, mail inboxes, music recommendations, and more based on your activity. It also allows you to customize your device settings such as automatically activating dark mode or low power mode. Repeat this process with all of your focus options, customizing your phone's appearance, layout, notifications, app filters, and system settings based on your current activity. One thing you may want to consider enabling is share across devices in your focus tab. This means that all of your Apple devices will automatically sync to your current focus. As someone who uses an iPhone, MacBook, and Apple Watch regularly during my work and personal time, this helps me ensure that I'm optimizing my devices and only receiving notifications appropriate to my current activity. You can also share your focus status, meaning that others will know when you have your notifications silenced and will hopefully understand if you aren't super quick to respond. I hope you found this in-depth guide to Apple's focus feature useful. This is a game-changing feature for any professional that works from home to increase your productivity during the workday, set boundaries during your personal time, and tell your devices to any activity that requires your focus. This was a bit different from our other videos, but if you'd like to see more productivity-focused content, please let us know in the comments. If you're a media professional looking for tips and tricks to improve your photography, videography, and graphic design skills, check out our channel. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. Perhaps your media needs are greater than you can manage on your own. Messenger Bag Media is your one-stop media shop. Visit messengerbagmedia.ca. Reach out to us and let's create something amazing together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.